I am so excited. There is a brand new update to the game and tons of hidden new units. Now, if you don't know, there is a hidden units mod and with it comes some of the most amazing units this game has ever seen. And here is the first one, the ancient tank hidden here in the middle of the ancient sandbox. Now, if you don't know, these guys make some of the most amazing models this game has ever seen. And they're all unique. They all have special abilities. And it's not just like some weird wobbly thing. They actually work incredibly well. And it looks like these are what we've seen before with the ancient tank with the guys riding on top of its back. And we've got a guy underneath on the shield and then a guy with a bow and arrow at top. And so most likely he's going to be able to do some really great damage. Let's go ahead and first get a whole bunch of squires. And then let's also put some knights because we want to test how good they actually are and how much damage they do. So they're throwing out some arrows, it looks like, and some spears. Maybe the guys on the bottom are throwing spears. And we have the guys with the shields underneath kind of holding it. Actually, there are three guys in here. <laughs> There's an arrow guy, a guy with a spear, and then the, the guy who's actually driving the thing. That is even better than what I thought. I thought there were only two. That's amazing. Wow, they just wasted those guys. Okay, let's get a whole mass of units here, even more, just to see how much damage they do. Wow, the spears just completely go right through the lines, shredding them down to nothing. They're almost all gone already. Wow, this unit is actually pretty good for the for the cost that it is. This unit costs 800, which is surprising because it's actually really good. Okay, let's go find the next one. Okay, so normally you have to hunt for these units for quite a while, but this one is pretty obvious. It's a helicopter stuck here on top of Leonidas' spear. Now, here's the thing. These guys don't make crappy models or crappy animations. They make everything work really well. And so this is most likely is not just some wobbly, really lame helicopter, but one that works incredibly well. So I think we'll stay on this map and let's find the helicopter and then let's use use it against a whole bunch of units. Wow, this costs 5,000. So it's probably going to be really, really good. So we've got a whole bunch of other icons too that aren't lit up, which I'm excited to find out what those are. Now, oh, look at it already. The blades are spinning. It's really legit. I've said this a bunch of times. I really think that Landfall should hire these guys to make units for them because they are so good. They could, you know, sp spend some money making them, helping them develop the game even further, giving more units, making the game's life go on. I honestly don't know why they don't because they make some amazing things. Let them make official units and just get it over with already. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of units in because we need to test and we also need to maybe destroy it because we need to see what happens if it gets destroyed. And I also have some, some protectors down below it to maybe keep it going on in case it does get destroyed so we can see it looks like the blades are spinning incredibly well it's just hovering wow the mgs are working really really well it's not wobbly like you see a lot of the other like kind of uh not legit flying things are that are just glitches this one is actually moving oh, look at that it looks so amazing wow the helicopter is so good he's throwing oh there goes a blue up wow the blade dropped the, the mgs dropped and then it's on fire. It just sits here on fire. That is so cool. This model is so great. I don't know why there's a police in an ancient realm, but maybe it went back in time and then crashed on the spear. Okay, let's see it against just a couple units so we can kind of see what it does overall. It looks as though the MGs like don't do a whole lot of damage. I guess, you know, that they do have shears. Look at them move. Wow, and it's just hovering there. That is so cool. And the guys in the helicopter are doing stuff. This is amazing see what i said they don't make crappy mods they make really good ones that have really good models that all work incredibly well and they have usually they have abilities that you haven't seen yet in game and so when they make updates to the hidden units mod there's almost always something unique that we've never seen before that we need to check out and so far i'm not disappointed wow look at it crash and let's destroy all those units below and then it just sits here on fire wow okay let's go find the next hidden unit guys comment below which of the units that you see in today's video is actually your favorite Okay, here we go on Spooky 2 with a unit called the Grieving Titan. Now, I have no idea what this could be or where it could be. I don't know what we're looking for. It could be a big, gigantic, um, like, 
head or a weapon or a spear or it could be like a golem type of thing uh, who honestly it's hard to tell let's look underneath first because sometimes they hide things underneath and they're sticking out of the level actually have they ever done that have these guys ever done that i don't know but i think landfall has nothing under there maybe it's like a big giant pumpkin head or something i hope not i don't want it to be a pumpkin but it could be you never know or it could be like a bunch of bones I have no idea what we're looking for. Here's a big chair. Is this new? Has this been here? It's not the chair. Okay. I, I guess I've, I guess that's not been there before. I've never seen it before. Could be something under the bridges, in the water, popping out of the water. I, I, I have no idea. I've been looking for so long. Nothing under here. What is it? Oh, guys. Wow. <laughs> How did we not see this? It was sticking out. It's glowing. It's sticking out of the water with a bunch of spikes. How in the world did I not see this? I looked for so long. Oh, it's glowing purple. It's spun up. It's a gigantic sword with like vines on it. Ooh, look at him. He looks amazing. The grieving titan has been found. Okay. Also, the tower has been updated. So we should look at the tower and where's the grieving titan the grieving titan i think there's new maybe new knights or something the grieving titan is 5000 he is a massive skeleton he has a massive sword he's glowing look at him he looks awesome okay let's see what he does he also has like vines growing up out of his sword like it's been stuck in the earth for a bunch of millennia or something let's see what he does let's find out what the new thing is with the tower as well i think it's the knights that spawn might be new or maybe they just revamp the model all together um not entirely too sure let's see what does he Ooh, ooh! these spikes coming out of the ground <gasps> whoa it just impaled those guys the knights look amazing dude the spikes look at them coming out of the ground it's kind of like a it's not like a dark peasant type of thing where it's like coming up and then spiking them oh and it looks like maybe he has two abilities with the spikes he's making like a wall of spikes as well or like the vines a wall of vines and then he's got some explosive thing while the tower went flying he's got some explosive ability everything's getting spiked he's okay so he actually it looks like he has three different abilities he has a wall of spikes he has the spikes that come up in like tentacle and like impale. And then he also has another set of spikes that just come straight up out of the ground and, and don't impale. And then he's got the explosive thing. And he doesn't really use his sword. Look at that. It's so cool. You guys, that's an amazing ability. Here we are on evil realm and there is a businessman here which i guess the devs are telling us what they think about businessmen by sticking them in hell but i don't know what we're looking for this this map is going to be incredibly hard to find something because it's dark it's very hard to see and i'm assuming we're looking for either a couple things either money a suit briefcase maybe pay a stack of papers Maybe some stocks or something. I don't even know. I have no idea what we could possibly be looking for here. I don't know what that white thing is down there. And then underneath the level here, I don't know if it's underneath the level. If we find anything under here, I have no idea where we, we where we should look. I've explored pretty much everywhere. On top of the platforms, now I'm looking underneath the archways. I'm thinking they're probably under here. Here it is. There's a briefcase right here. I should have looked here first. I thought he might hide it underneath the archways. I should have looked here. There's the businessman. We've seen this guy before. It's the businessman with the money gun. Now, you guys, this, this unit is really cool. I wonder what they've done to improve him. But this is actually a really old unit, if I remember correctly. And he has a money gun that shoots money. So I'm, I'm curious to know what they've done to actually change him up. So he's shooting out little rolls of money yep that's the same i think but the i think the green bullets new and then he looks the same as what he did what he did before what does he new do that's new oh he throws his briefcase okay the briefcase has been thrown popped open him with money no they're all going towards it oh they have coins over their head oh they're all like we need the money we need the money wow this unit is actually really good you guys it's a complete distraction unit and he just shoots them as time goes on throws the briefcase out it actually explodes money comes out and then they want to go for the money that's actually a really cool unit i'm excited to find the rest of the units if uh because like even this guy is pretty cool so let's go find the next units 
and see what they do. Okay, the next one is the club master, and it's here on the tribal sandbox. Now, we could be looking forever on this map, but I'm assuming if I was the, the guys, I would put something maybe in the cave. But then again, I think we have seen things hidden in like tree stumps. And so we could be looking for a long time for whatever this unit is. But then again, maybe they decided to put it somewhere out in the open so it's less obvious. Or I mean, it's even more obvious, but you wouldn't think to look there. Although I think I see it right now. I don't think that this... Has this skull been here before? Or is this whole thing new? I think it's new. Oh, there they are. There are the clubs underneath here. Wow. It's like underneath some big dinosaur thing they used as like a tent. This is the club master. What does the club master do? Okay, we've seen a club master before. And he like spun around and that's pretty much all he did. So what? Okay, the clubs are hovering. Now, just because of these guys being who they are, I know that's not an accident. So he must be able to do something with the clubs that, since they're hovering like that because it's not a glitch it's not a mistake they have to be on purpose that they're hovering there oh he's spinning them around does he have like telekinesis or something he's throwing it he's got telekinetic powers he's throwing his club out the inter the tribal dude whoa what was that he just made he just caused another thing to come up out of the ground or something it was like a stone or a boulder let's see what happened there it is right there he he hits the ground with his foot and then a boulder comes up and it flings through hits the guy sends him flying wow the club master is actually really good i like it he's in very he's rather impressive for uh i think what i don't know three thousand or something like that let's see how he does against some bigger units and some chieftains he throws a rock out the rock just obliterated the chieftains actually I totally forgot the mammoths die really quick with something that can withstand the hits and because and then it, like being underneath it just does a ton of damage it's like the king wow the club master is actually really good i like the club master a lot okay so here in the wild west there's a thing called the prospector which i would imagine is probably by the mine right it's a prospector so it's got to be by the mine maybe it's a pickaxe no it can't be a pickaxe pickaxe has already been done is this shovel it's not the shovel this minecart's new I think it's this minecart right here. Yep, it's the minecart. What could it possibly be that it's in a minecart? What the heck? Let's see the minecart. There's two guys in there. There's an old dude and another guy in the minecart. I'm excited about this one because this seems like a humor one. And so what could he possibly do? Let's just get a bunch of halflings. Put a bunch of halflings in and just see what happens. He is throwing gold out. Okay, he's throwing gold out. Oh, the old guy's got TNT it looks like. Like the old-fashioned TNT. Oh, he throws a bunch of sticks. It's a whole bunch of TNT sticks. Like a dynamite going out. Oh, sweet. He's crazy. <laughs> He's just driving off and they're following after him. He's throwing gold. Are they chasing the gold or they're chasing the guys? And then he's throwing a bunch of dynamite sticks out. This unit is amazing. This might be one of my favorite ones so far just because it's funny. Like the old dude's in the back chucking out some dynamite as he's driving like a maniac in his minecart. Okay, here's an idea. Let's put a whole bunch of them in. 6v6. So let's just see what happens. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What I'm interested to see is if they pop out and if they can fight. They're still stuck in there, it looks like. They, a couple of them have come out and they've died. Oh, no, they can't come out. They're out and they're fighting. Okay, so they're actually individual units inside there that can come out too. That's pretty cool. I See, I love this. Look at this old guys with the dynamite. That's cracking me up. Let's go find the next unit. Now, this one is probably going to be really awesome. This is called the Seraphim, which is an angel. And if it's like anything like the Bible, it's got a bunch of wings, a bunch of eyes, a bunch of faces, and it's crazy looking. Actually, I don't know if that's a seraphim. I think it's a seraphim. Anyway, it's probably going to look and be absolutely crazy. And I think we just found it. It's a big, giant, glowing sword. And I have to imagine that it is... This thing is massive. This is going to be a massive unit, I think, you guys. The Seraphim. Look. Oh, what is he shooting? He's doing something amazing. We have to see. This thing looks huge. We have to see what it does. And you might have to go to a brand new map. I think it's at the very, it's at the very end. It's even past one punch, man. Oh. <gasps> 
look at how we got to go to a new map. Look at how big this thing is. Oh my goodness. It's so massive. We need to go to the ancient sandbox and because the ancient sandbox is the largest, we could also go to legacy. Look at how oh, it is so massive. Yep. Look at all the wings and the eye things on it. Wow. This is like the new boss tier level unit. It's so massive and a bunch of halos above its head. This thing is insane. Sword is like stuck in one of the eyes. That is, this thing is wild. It's so big and it's got 10 wings, I think, which two more, two, I think it's too many. Two too many. Okay, it's got eyes. <laughs> this thing is nuts and it's got like spears in its head. This thing looks amazing. And are these like scars all over it? Like it's been in battle? That's so cool. But here's the thing. What does it do we have we should have him face one punch man, but before we do that We need to just put him against I don't know should we just do we, I want to do something strong But let's just do a bunch of monkey kings a whole bunch of monkey kings just to see what happens Start it. Whoa Shooting out like golden missiles ex that are exploding What in the world? That is so oh wow. It does a lot of damage. What what is happening? What is happening? The swords are coming down from the sky. There's more than one sword. There's like four swords. Okay, let's see this again. He spins around. His eye things are spinning. He closes his eyes. And then the swords come down, spiraling from the heavens, causing a massive explosion, taking out anything around. This, this unit is absolutely insane. Which unit is stronger? This thing or One Punch Man? We must find out. Here we go. One Punch Man. What happens? One Punch Man. <gasps> it instantly killed One Punch Man? Are you kidding me? Let's get him closer. Oh my goodness! One Punch Man died immediately. This thing is the strongest unit to ever exist in tabs. And it's stronger than One Punch Man. But guys, guess what? There's one more unit and it's absolutely really cool how we have to unlock it. This unit is called the Hero of All Wobblers, and it's stuck here in these chains. And, ooh, the sword is glowing. Okay, the sword is glowing first, and here's what we need to do. Once this is unlocked, what we need to do is we need to actually find multiple keys. So check this out. Find the four keys. The first one is looted by Blackbeard, so we know where that's going to be. Second, Lost of the Past, which is probably Tribal. One of the tribal maps. Then we also have the third key, which is buried in the sand, which is probably on the Egypt map somewhere. And then the fourth is eaten by hell. So let's go find these four keys. Then we returned here at last to unseal the hero. Okay, so the first one is Blackbeard, and we know where Blackbeard is, hidden in the waterfall, which is like one of the first like cool reveals of finding something hidden in inside the waterfall. So amazing. Here it is. Blackbeard, I'm taking the key back. We need it to unseal the hero of all wobblers. The next one's Lost of the Past, which is probably a tribal map. We just had one on Tribal Sandbox, so it's probably, I'm going to assume Tribal 2 because of the cave. So we're going to go look in the cave and see if it's in the cave. And then if not, it could be one other place, maybe on top. But I'm assuming it's in the cave. Actually, I think I just saw it here on top. Yep, okay, because I was just thinking it probably might be on the altar too. And here it is on top of the altar, sitting here. <laughs> okay, second day, hero's key. I have been looking for so long for this key on the Egypt map. And oh my goodness, there's an upside down pyramid under here. It said lost under the dunes. And so I've looked, I've looked literally everywhere. And this has got to be it. There's a doorway opening. This has got to be it. What in the world? Oh my gosh. What? There's some kind of huge giant in here. Too bad this isn't a thing. It's like a Ra or something. Here it is. There's the key hovering right above. Oh my gosh, there's a chicken in there. <laughs> Get that chicken out of there. Sweet. This, oh, this one took me so long to find. I'm not happy about this one because the uh, last one took me forever. Actually, I think I see it right away. It's right here. Oh my goodness. I was like, this is going to take so long to find this key on the evil map, but it's right here, which wasn't here before. So it's unlocked. I think we had to do it in order, which we did. Okay, now that we've got all the keys, we have to come back here 
And here's the guy. And look at the keys going in. Sweet. This is insane that they can do this. How can they do this? And like, they need to hire these guys. Okay, he's just called question marks. His name is Billy. His name is Bill Billy the Hero. Like from Str like Stranger Things. Okay, uh, hey, I would have gone with a different name, but that's okay. Uh, he was just called question mark before, which he could just continue to be question mark. That would be pretty cool. Okay, they need to hire these guys. Get them on the team and like let them make units and then just rake in the profits because they can make some amazing things. And it's absolutely absolutely incredible to see what they do now let's get a whole bunch of units because i have no idea what this guy's gonna do let's go in and check him out because he's a hero unit and he costs fifteen thousand. he's not like a boss tier god tier level but he's got a really awesome looking sword glowing belt and then some kind of crazy gauntlet that's glowing right now i don't know what's about to happen what is this whoa what is he he just obliterated all of those units what in the world he causes some kind of like shock wave sonic wave futuristic looking thing that just <laughs> shredded through everything that is absolutely insane what if let's put some stuff closer because i wonder if he does multiple attacks multiple things oh yeah look at there he goes whoa what's happening Wow, he just did some explosive thing that just sent things flying in his sword. Oh, it's like got like an after effect glow. This is cool. So he's got multiple different attacks and abilities, and he seems to be really strong. And so that's crazy. And so yeah, this Billy Billy hero unit, pretty cool. You guys have to let me know in the comments below which of the units that you saw in today's video is your new favorite. Let's get rid of these guys again because I want to see him shred these things up. Yes, that is amazing. Click one of the two videos that you're about to see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Let me know your favorite. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, Billy. Nice to meet you.